Alright, so it's a crazy fucking snowstorm outside. Crazy fucking weather. And, uh... Well, I'm afraid that there might be a power outage. So, being there might be a power outage, I'm using my standalone PlayStation 2 system. So then if the power goes out, I don't gotta freaking check if my hard drive got corrupted or anything like that. That's one thing good about a standalone fucking PlayStation 2. And it's another reason why I need to buy another PlayStation 2. Uh, that I can play games like this when it comes, when it's crazy fucking weather days like this. Let's take a look at that. Team Canada. Can you see that picture there? It's 2002. Women's Team Canada. They won 3-2. Against some crazy fucking referees. But yeah, we got some... Yeah, look at that weather, eh? So it's a crazy snowstorm. My dog's outside. Because she's crazy. And... I think she's a husky. So here we go. Stand alone. Oh, fuck. Uh, let's see. <laughs> this hasn't been used much. Uh, there we go. <laughs> yeah, it's, uh, I need a new PlayStation 2. Because, uh, look, it's, it's glitching there. This was the first, this is the first first person shooter that I really, 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 really loved. Let's turn off these, these lights this time here. Get a better picture. Right, um, this was, yeah, this was my first first person shooter that I played and played and played and played. And one of my favorite things about this game is the fact that you could change your loadout. Unlike uh, Call of Duty games where they give you a weapon, you can pick up an enemy weapon or a weapon that you find somewhere that's hidden some special place, but then you gotta find ammo for that. This here allows you to start off with any weapon you want. You have a certain amount of ammo. You don't pick up any ammo. You just you just have what you what you brought to the fight, which is much more uh, realistic in my opinion. It's not like you, well, you can pick up magazines, I guess, of the people. But, you know, the way it happens in video games, you just touch it and it immediately goes in your pocket. You know, if you actually went down and grabbed it, and you grabbed magazines off of bodies, that'd be pretty slick. That would be cool. They should add that to Call of Duty, actually. You know, actually show you going down. I'm going to grab ammo off of this purse, this, this body that just got, that you, that you smoked. I remember seeing this, this here intro in, uh, in like a freaking, uh, like a GameStop, like a long time ago. I was just like, oh man, can't wait to get that. I, I wanted the game. I got it finally in Toronto. That's where I got it. I got it in Toronto. <laughs> I've been hooked ever since. <laughs> it's crazy wind out there. Get in cover, Dougie. Get in cover. Cover. I'm gonna do my favorite mission, Trieste. Trieste is awesome. You're a two-man unit. Really cool about this game, you get shot four times. And this game here teaches you to do tap tap and not to hold the trigger. Especially if you use an M4, which is my favorite weapon. And in this game, it's where it was the lowest ranked weapon in the game. The, 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 the M4. But I love it. Oh, Rainbow Six Three. Stand alone. 2003-2004. Look how blurry. This, this TV's 1080p, right? It is really kind of blurry. <laughs> but back then, well, I'm veteran. This is when I, in these days here, I played every game on hardest difficulty. Uh, I'm not so uh, picky now. 
MK23, 45 caliber, HK. Now you want Willy Pete, White Phosphorus, and Fragmentation. Last time we heard from the team, they were finding a place to hold up and defend. That was a few minutes ago. And I love these briefings. I love this here preparation to, like, here you're a military dude. There's certain stuff you have to go through. You get a fucking briefing. You know, you get stuff like that. I'm not sure it's all at war, and then you're on the field, and you know you have to adapt instantly, kind of thing. But this here is like a mission. You you have an objective to achieve. You 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 have certain things that you can like. Yeah, I I general idea of what to do when you get to this situation. All right, here we go. Oh, stereo sound. What the fuck am I doing? I don't even have my stereo on. Here we go. Let's turn the mesh part down. Stereo. And 92 FS, 9 millimeter. I love, I love how it had all this stuff. See, uh, this is what I miss about Call of Duty and stuff like that these days. Right? It's like, uh, Payday is the only game I like because it sticks with realistic weapons and, and shit like that. Everything's just... I don't know. I just I can't get in this new Call of Duty. Um, I I know how my uncle felt when it, when Call of Duty went from World at War to uh, to uh, what are the controls in this again? How do I change my weapon? That's night vision. Uh, circles reload. Oh, L two is change your weapon. Hold on. Weapon. Wow, that was close. Alright. Damn it, man, I'm rusty. I forgot how to fucking reload there. Sight. Why are you very meek, that guy? Out? Yeah, I got this. I, I know where they're going to pop out. Uh, I have, you know, I know this guy is going to be at this window here when I back up. <laughs> I know that there's going to be a guy in this window here, so I shoot the glass and then I shoot him. Uh, yeah, I got this pretty well mapped out. And then you can go to night vision. Yeah, it looks pretty sharp, doesn't it? And then, then you got like your predator thermal vision. Like, uh, I love watching the predator movies, so having this as like a vision in a video game is just awesome. In this game here, watch this when I reload. 11 rounds, 31 rounds. Oh my God, they actually recognize that there's a, there's a, there's a bullet in the chamber. I miss that about fucking Call of Duty. Call of Duty doesn't have that shit. That's why it pisses me off. Oh fuck. Now it's 30. Reload. 31. See that? I love that about this game. I keep hitting triangle, thinking I'm changing my weapon. Alright, now there's going to be a guy in the left side up top here. Now there, I think I shot one of the guys on the ground down here. Watch yourself, watch yourself, watch yourself! Fuck! He got in my way. I shouldn't have backed up. Fuck, I forgot to say. This is gonna be fucking hard now. I have ten rounds. There's a Mac 10 to my right. And I like how I can tell exactly what weapon he has, and I don't even I haven't seen him yet. That was the final guy. Whenever you hear shoot him, the door blows up here. 
and then you can exit. Now the trick is the fragmentation grenade. He's gonna throw one. Boom! <laughs> See I play this a lot. I love this game. Stop shooting. Get over here, buddy. I like how you can command your dude, too. That's another thing I miss. I wish you could do that in payday. I wish you could tell him to fix that drill. You can't tell him that. I miss that. That'd be cool if you could. All right, so let's send him out there. Oh, shit! Yeah, I kind of figured that was going to happen. I should have just let, let him stay back and just fucking popped up. All right, insertion. I got a little cocky. I got a little cocky. And when he even fucking blocked my shot, if I would have shot, I would have killed him anyway. So it's, it's, it, 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 it kind of had to happen. All right, just chill, chill, chill. There we go. That's more like it. That's old school. That's that. That's how I used to play back in the day. Slowly move up. Alright, here we go. So I'm actually gonna be this guy in the window over here. Like, it's funny how blurry it is compared to the... Uh, one round left. 30 rounds, eh? Isn't that beautiful? Everyone. Oh, I love that. The fact that it does that. Like it's a video game, and they they, they they know enough about weapons to, to put that in it. That's just beautiful. Get this guy in the window first if you can. Hit the wall. Did I get that guy? I keep trying to switch my weapons with triangle and I keep popping up that night vision. That's what's happening there. He's gonna blow up. I heard the grenade. There's a Mac 10 in the corner again. 21 rounds. Just hit fire all your ammo. Mini May grenade throw. Bounce off the wall.
So, open the door. He, yeah, he comes running at you, that guy. He's a prick. Alright, so we got a checkpoint saved anyway. I love to see how the casings fly on this thing. I love it. I love it. They're pew, 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 pew. It's got a lot of fucking force coming, sending those casings out. Alright, here we go. There's a guy in the right hand corner usually. Door opens sometimes. Door did open. Switch and take night vision off so you can see better. Um, now the question is... Oh, yeah, we got some night dude in. Go. Shit's gonna hit the fan right now. window. Ah, I fucking missed. Usually I can get that grenade in the window, but I fucked up. <laughs> oh well. So that was a quick little mission. Tree asked, uh, should I do that again? Because I didn't get the grenade in the window. Usually I put the grenade in the window. But yeah, it's like, it's still pretty tricky, ain't it? Like, you're, you got body armor, but you don't got, like, it re, you don't just, like, if I got hit twice, there would have been over. Uh, let's go main minion. Let's do something. Let's do a different mission. Uh, another cool thing about this game, just checking on the dog. Uh, another cool thing about this game is uh, it included a, a Canada mission. Uh-oh. I think it just blanked on me, didn't it? Hello? <laughs> Yeah, I need new PS2. Alright, we'll end up with that. Trieste. Mission over. Bam. Mission over. That's a good sign-up thing. I'm going to do that more often.